Betty Booze, join me for the barrel draw. I love your clip, it's fantastic. Oh, thanks. And I noticed you're doing a bit of skiing there. We're actually going off to the slopes of Perisher, um, starting on Monday coming up. Oh. So we're doing a bit of skiing Good. up there, hopefully. I can't ski very well. Yeah. But anyway, would you do the honours and um, pull sure. out a winner for us? It's uh, Julianne McCaffrey of North Bondi from New South Wales. You're our winner, and here's your prize. And um, please come and visit next time you're in Australia. Mm, I will. Goodbye. Annie Boo has cut short her Australian tour after cutting short several Melbourne performances over the weekend. Angry fans have accused her of miming. They've called for refunds, saying some performances lasted just 20 minutes. The working overtime lyric from her latest single seems a little out of place given the length of her two shows. At Frankston's 21st Century Nightclub, the aptly named rapper was booed from the stage when she dropped her microphone and the crowd discovered a large part of the vocals were pre-recorded. Then at the City Metro, angry fans demanded their money back when the London singer left the stage after just 20 minutes. The Australian tour was cancelled as doctors visited Betty Boo well away from former fans and media at her hotel. Agent Frank Stavala says she was ill at both performances. Most people probably wouldn't even play and sit and say with crooks, you know, forget it, we're not going to do it, but at least she made an attempt of trying to fulfil her obligation. Everyone else went to ground. The promoter, Michael Best, WEA record company officials, even the Metro management. None was willing to talk about what had been done to the paying patrons. Mr Stavala says dance acts like Betty Boo only play for half an hour usually, and perhaps the clubs should make this clear before taking people's money. So then they're given the opportunity to say, OK, well, we're happy to see 30 minutes of, a, of this particular artist, or no, we're not, we won't go. Many who caught the act would be left wondering if Betty chose her stage name after an earlier concert. Stephen Clayney, 10 Eyewitness News. Time a storm has already broken over the talents of visiting British singer Betty Boo. You're always working overtime. But she hasn't been doing that during her first shows in Melbourne. The rap queen cut short a concert on Saturday amid claims she was miming, while last night's performance ended after 20 minutes when she complained of a sore throat. In an interview for tomorrow's Bugs Bunny show, Betty revealed she's just started self-defence lessons. And after cancelling the rest of her Australian tour, they might just come in handy. And that's all the news for now. With the... Music news time, and the big story of the past week has been Betty Boo's supposed boo-boo. As you would be aware, Betty cancelled much of her Australian tour after the well-publicised incidents that occurred last weekend at Melbourne nightclubs, the 21st Century Dance Club and the Metro. Now, critics have been quick to pour scorn upon Ms Clarkson for allegedly miming during her performances and for appearing on stage for an all-too-brief period. The way we see it is that the lady was very sick. No one seems to argue about that. And that probably explains the brevity of her performances. However, was she miming? Was she singing along with a record? Was she singing along to a backing tape? Who knows? The point is that the appearance she was making wasn't a full-on concert performance, but what's known as a PA. Very common in Asia and Europe where artists, particularly dance artists, make guest appearances, personal appearances, at nightclubs to press the flesh and sing their hit. It ain't rock and roll, but the rules have changed. I spoke to Betty in London before the Aussie tour and asked her at that time what we could expect to see here. Well, I've got two girls that look very much like me, um, and they're called the Bouettes, and they do a sort of a little routine. Um, but, you know, you're just going to have to see it, I think. I don't necessarily tour. I do club dates, you know, because I love, I love doing club. Um, yeah, she's very new at this stuff. I guess the bottom line is that uh, if you pay 15 bucks or so to see Betty Boo at a club where you would normally pay 8 to 10 to get in, you're not really expecting to see uh, you 2 on stage, are you? And uh, for those people who've criticised the whole thing, well, caveat emptor, perhaps. A Latin phrase meaning let the buyer beware. Meantime, Michael Best, the promoter, claims that he's practically washed up and Betty's record company are hoping to reschedule the shows in the near future. So that's the end of that one. Well, Booze. Well, Booze.